So in this video, I want to talk about migrating from VS Code to Pulsar, specifically with HTML, okay? When you're writing HTML, when you're writing CSS, and so far, building websites. So this is Pulsar out of the box, and it looks pretty, pretty fly, right? But maybe when you're migrating from VS Code, you want to get Pulsar to look more like VS Code, so you're more used to it as you start the migration over from VS Code. So I'm going to close out this stuff here and close out all of these. And you can just turn this off if you want, or you can investigate each of these panels when it opens up so you can learn a little bit more about the editor. Up to you. OK, let's add a folder here. And let's add a folder. And I'm going to call this uh, migrating from VS Code. OK. And so we'll open the folder. I can go and create a new file with, by just typing lowercase a, and we'll create an index.html file. Now, let's show you out of the box. I'm going to go take a look at a couple packages here. So uh, out of the box, this won't be enabled. This won't be enabled. Um, and yeah, file icons won't be enabled. But that's how I got the file icons. So if I create an HTML file, I can't do the exclamation point, but I can do HTML and hit tab. And then I get some uh, boilerplate HTML out of the box. Now, by default, Pulsar has an indentation of two spaces. If you want the four spaces, just go up to editor. And you can scroll on down here to tab length, number of spaces used to represent a tab, and you can change it from the default of two to four, okay? So that's the HTML out of the box. But let's say, you know, and when I write a, write a tag here, like a paragraph tag, it doesn't auto close for me. Okay, so let's change that. So I'm gonna go here and go back to my packages. And we're gonna turn on auto close HTML plus, to install this, you would just go to install and search for that package, okay? And then click install, it's very easy. So let's enable this one and we'll enable Emmet, okay? So if we enable those two and we get rid of this, now I can do this and create an HTML framework and start working on my document, you know, give it a title and so on and so forth. Oops. And sometimes it's a little, little buggy there. But uh, so it did a hit tab here when there was nothing behind it. It wasn't sure what to do. Um, now, though, uh, let's say I want to create a paragraph tag. Notice it auto closes it and it puts my, uh, my cursor in between the two paragraph tags. OK, if I want to create like an H1, auto closes it and puts my a cursor in between those two heading tags. Okay, um, so this is you know how Pulsar pretty much looks out of the box. I've got this highlight line package here. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but let's say we wanted to get it to look a bit more like VS Code. Well, I can go up to my themes here, and I've installed a couple themes. And you just to install themes, you just go down here to install and click on themes, and then you search for the themes you want. So the theme I installed, the syntax theme, is called Dark Plus. Okay, so let's change it to Dark Plus. And you notice that looks a lot more like VS Code, right? And then for the UI theme, they actually have an Atom Visual Studio Code to help it look like VS Code. Okay, so you get the blue status bar on the bottom and a couple other cool things. And I've got these icons on here uh, just for icons. So. Uh, Another thing about this theme is if I turn off the highlight line, let me turn that off. So go to packages and I turned off the, uh, let, me, let me disable this. And now you'll see there's like a little line under there. I don't really like that line, but that's the default for this dark plus. So if you just go to settings and you install this highlight line package, 
and enable it. I think that has a better look to it. Uh, another thing I did, let me add a folder here. So I'm going to go and get this a little larger for you. And let's show the hidden folders. So what I'm going to add in here is this dot pulsar folder. Uh, the packages are in here. So if I go to Adam Visual Studio Code UI, let's add that one. And what I did here is I went to the styles and I went to the status bar dot less file. And so I added the font family, which I added was Droid Sans Mono. Um, I added also the, I changed the status bar height. You'll see I cut this out. Status bar height was originally uh, the same height as these tabs, which I think was a little bit much for the status bar. So I brought it down to 25 pixels uh, and then I restarted it. So you need to change that and then restart it. And those changes will take effect. So that's the only two changes I made to the uh, Adam Visual Studio Code UI theme. Okay, so you, but you can modify the themes in here. Again, this is a highly hackable editor, so you can modify it to make it work however you want. I think that's one of the big advantages of going to Pulsar. Um, but yeah, so now we have it looking a lot like VS Code. The other thing I did was turn on indent guides. So let's go back up to here, go to editor, and um, if I go down here, let's see, it says show indent guide. So this is typically off. The default is false, false but I turned it on. So it looks more like your VS Code experience. And I think this is going to get you on the road from switching to VS Code or switching from VS Code to Pulsar. Uh, if you want more videos on the Pulsar text editor, I've got a bunch on my channel and covering a lot of things that you can do with the editor. Uh, so check those out and subscribe to the channel if you want to check those out. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.